welcome back to Business Morning on Sunrise Daily. We head to the markets now to see how, beginning with the equities fed last week, we saw that at the close of the week's trade, the market was in the red 0.18% at 99,743 0.05 equity cap 56 trillion naira which is where it's been a very interesting week we saw last week activity chart was more of the green but we had less deals compared to the previous week sectors banking the most interesting one a lot of things happened uh, last week there banking uh, closed in the red in spite of that fidelity banks public offer double offer that came on and a lot of excitement among investors we did see that it's uh, closed down consumer goods uh, nigerian breweries and and all of that contributed to that industrial goods insurance lost more than five percent while oil and gas were unexpectedly closed in the green top gainers last week were champion breweries plc veritas capital assurance and charms remember we had the group managing director of charms here some time ago well they did well top gainer last week uh, talking about ict we just discussed with the day right there well that's part of them and then top losers uh, insurance that's why we had that five percent drop or so with insurance NEM insurance regency insurance and transfer hotels has been surging so i guess it's time to take profit top trade fidelity fidelity was so much in the news last week fbn holdings also you know the move of mr tedela also put that in the news veritas capital that's insurance uh, they also were part of the top trade but let's talk to mr abdul rashid momo now um to get a clearer picture and perhaps expectations for this week uh, mr momo good morning Good morning. Can you hear me? Yes. Am I, I loud and clear? I can, I can hear you, Mr. Momo. So okay. last week, I would have thought that the banking counter will close in the green, but it was in the red. In spite of so much activities and interest, what happened? Let me, I, I always like to speak using my technicals. You see, I, I did say the market was hovering within the support and resistance levels about 99,000 points, about 100,000 points. So what happened yes, last week, uh, the market seems to have, is trying to break that resistance. It did it twice on, I think, Thursday. The market got to an intraday high of about 100,000 on Thursday and Friday, but it still closed below 100,000 units. So basically, the bulls are trying to test that level if the bulls are able to break that level then we are in a new bull trend but as it is market is more on the sideways uh, movement between 99,000 points to about 100 close to about 100,000 points so basically what we are seeing are more of volumes we are seeing volumes but no, we, are, we are not seeing um huge price appreciation mm. as you said you said earlier on that if you see the counters for last week, you see that they are not really major stocks. So they cannot really put much effect in terms of pull uh, effect on the, I mean, more effect on the overall index. Hmm. So Fidelity Bank is, is uh, they're out there open, the offer is out there. How do we expect that to affect the counter? I mean, a lot of analysts have said it's, it's, it's to make a good buy. Um, when you look at the price, the value now, and what is what is an offer? Well, the most important thing is uh, the the two prices were I think about nine seventy five and nine I think below nine um, nine seventy five is the max I think for the public offer. But as at close of um, Friday, the market closed at um, nine ninety. Um, as we speak now, it's trading at, um, hold on, it's trading at Fidelity, it's now trading at 10 Naira, 10 Naira. So, uh, most, if, 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 the most important is, as long as, if you can get Fidelity below the market price, as which they are offering their public offer, it's a good deal. Uh, from what we are saying, the price must be above the current price must always be above the offer price. So if it goes below that, then I mean it's 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 um it's a I wouldn't use the word it's a waste, it's a wasted effort. So as it is, 
the current price is above the market price, which is good for their public offer. Mm. Have you heard of any news? Who's coming next? I'm talking of the banks now because it's obviously towards the recapitalization. Yeah, um, I think, I don't know, it's supposed to have been assets. There, there was a flash on assets two weeks ago um, where they gave us a price. I think assets was supposed to come in at, um, I think, 1975 or so, 1945. I, we saw a flash last week on assets and that's why we saw um the movement we, we saw the stock moving from about um it moved from about 17 naira plus yeah to about yes it moved from 17 naira plus that result came out last i think two weeks ago we saw a flash on it and uh, i don't think that thing uh they, i don't think there's an approval on it because if if they allow the banks to all come in at the same time, it's going to be a huge um, burden on the market. So I think there will likely go to be a timetable from SEC, which will allow the banks to come in at a particular period, perhaps between a two months or three months time frame, mm. so that they don't um, put so much pressure in the markets. Okay, and now um, oil and gas seems to be getting attention too. Does this have anything to do with Dangote Petrol, which is expected in a couple of weeks? I think next week. They said from July. Yeah, we've been expecting that for some time. But um, uh, number one, when we ask Dangote, Dangote is not the only, the only stock that is active in the oil sector. If you look at it, it's. Um, Corn oil, I mean, Oando, Oando is the most liquid. Then, Total moved because um, there was, I think they are paying about 25 cobalt. So that was when we saw a, a flash movement on Total. You see, what you know, I have to know about the oil sector is that we don't see volatility. The only stock that is liquid in this oil sector is Oando. So, if any information comes in, Oando, well, you know that o Oando has some things coming up. That's why we are seeing a lot of activities trading on Oando. And I think this is just the beginning of a good rally for Oando after a very long time. I mean, we've not seen such rally since God knows how long. But Oando seems to be trending well now. Uh, 16 hours supposed to be it's like a restart level. If it breaks, we know that. For the long term, Owando, there are things going to open for Owando. But in terms of what we are seeing, I don't think there's any effect based on what we are seeing in the Dangote okay. for now. Because if we see it would have impacted on oil, any every other oil sector like um, um, corn like oil, oil and MRS, MRS and all of that. Uh, so, rest, so, so what's your, like. what do you see this week, Mr. Momo? We know that this week also in the fixed income space, the euro uh, the euro bond is there that the federal government has now released so that's competition for the ngx how do you see that playing out by the end of this week for you know uh the ngx the truth is that the market is still going to be flat to the end of this year um to the end of this week one thing that if as i said the market needs to break the hundred thousand level if the market doesn't break the hundred thousand level then we are not going anywhere the market is Trending sideways, good in for yeah. Apart from investors that are getting value, you can see that there's more stability in most of the stocks now. Where we we are not seeing all those um, crazy ups and downs as we need to see. So the market is calm. So there must be something that will definitely going to trigger the market, and that's what we are waiting for. But as it is now, I don't see anything as long as the market is the market is just going to be range bound between 99,500 and by 100,000 points so nothing is going to happen but for now i know that the banking sector are still the best we can see a lot of consolidation in the banks uh we're seeing i think first bank did about one billion last week gtd 75 transcript 64 zenit 43 assets 41 and ub 39 so for now, those are the areas, the banks are the areas um, people are going to, but the market remains flat.
So I don't see any change. <laughs> it would be nice at least to hit the 100,000 level by the close of the week. But thank you so much, Mr. Abdul Rashid Momo, for sharing your time and perspective with us this morning. Thank you very much. All right, so that's it. Uh, markets to be clear. I guess investors will just, you know, look the way or where or where you have where you have the potential to make more profits. It's only natural. And for this week, it seems to be the fixed income market. The euro bond is out. The auction begins today, so uh, a lot of investors will be looking that way. But thank you so much. Uh, there'll be fresh market numbers for you at 1 p.m. during Business Incorporated. Ladi will be here as well as Will Ebong. They're going to take you around the world of business. You don't want to miss it. I'm Ini Jodmekwa. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.